So today I have my very first uh, week's plan with me to share with you all and uh, this is the Chelsea Paper Company um, week's planner and I got it in the uh, like the bright pink. I haven't fully set this up yet so once I have I will be doing a flip through of this but yeah and it's basically it's basically a dupe for the PP weeks and I'm really, really loving it. I use this as my health planner um, to basically mark down my workouts and my dinners. I'm gonna set up for next week. So I've decided to use this kit from Isabel the Owl, which I've had for absolutely ages. I'm hoping that there's gonna be enough in this two page mini kit to do so. So we've got some uh, full decorative boxes, half boxes, washi, heart checklist, another box here, uh, habit trackers, quarter boxes, flags. I'm going to pull in uh, these date covers which are from Peaches and Pinks and this is a printable shop uh, that I discovered on Etsy. So yeah, I'm going to use them. Also going to use uh, these, that's going to pick up bow headers and they are going to be for my uh, water tracking so i'm just gonna go ahead and sit down i'm um hoping just to talk through this with you because each day is kind of the same so yeah i'm just gonna sit down now and uh let's plan together okay so let's just grab these stickers out of here um, as these are like my workout stickers go to the next page and let's go ahead and lay down this washi now I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cutting on that so let's grab this and have a little look just to see um, where we're at with it. It might be it's really minuscule. You know what? I don't think I will. I think I will just lay them down and I'll just. I've got date covers going on anyway, so. I can just, that will obviously just cover up that little bit there. So yeah, this is my health planner. Um, I'm not necessarily following anything in regards to like Slimming World or Weight Watchers, etc. Um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. Um, so, I'm cooking all our meals from scratch and I have really been enjoying it actually um, doing that I suppose the meals I'm cooking are they are like Slimming World based um, oh sorry they are Slimming World based um, so I did get a lot of the meals off of a Slimming World blog and yeah just really been enjoying like cooking from scratch etc um, keeping up with my well trying to keep up with my three liters a day so when I was on the one-to-one -one diet during lockdown um, their, their biggest thing was that you had to drink like three liters a day and that did actually I really noticed how that really had like an effect on like weight loss um I've been I'm always the world's worst for uh, keeping up with water intake like really really bad um but yeah so I'm really trying to do that this week my first week doing like back on the diet um 
did really well um, with weight loss and measurements. Um, that was another thing actually that the ones one diet taught me was it's not always about the like what the scales say. Um, you can have a very small weight loss and but your measurements will be you know like crazy. So for instance this week um so like this this week as I'm filming on so this week here sorry if that didn't make any sense at all um, I had a very small loss so I only lost half a pound this week I really didn't keep up with my water I was only ever really hitting one or two liters a day uh, just really struggled like mentally with water um, this like this week so this is what I really want to keep up with um, for this week I only did two workouts and but in terms of food I was really really good um, so yeah it's I just don't really know um, what was getting out oh yeah sorry lost my train of thought so I only lost half a pound but I lost six centimeters in measurements um so yeah when you kind of look at it that way you know i kind of think well you know no i didn't have a great loss but i did lose six centimeters so that is one other thing that the ones one diet did teach me about is um is measurements and measurements are actually and can be more important than um, what you see on the scales. And always, I always go buy my clothes, etc., like that. But I'm I'm one of them suckers where I have to see a number, like I have to see numbers, you know. So, right, okay. So I've done the um, top washi, done my date covers. I'm now looking for. I have got this here which I could do my dinners because on a Saturday night we always have a cheat meal because uh, James is dieting as well so on a Saturday we've decided to have a cheat meal so that will always be a takeaway so actually I could use that um, and put a meal plan uh, dinners sticker let's have a look oh I've got some stickers in the back here <laughs> Um, got some workouts which I want to use. So I've got meal, meal plan, and they're not right colours. Dinners, they've got a bit of blue in here. So I could use that. Um, let's have a little look. I will be doing an updated, um, storage sticker video for you all as well as a um plan a lineup for this year so yeah i can't i think i'm going to use this one because it has got a little bit of blue in see not much blue so let's have a little look and i want to be putting a habit tracker down as well so if we do this here and then this just over the top gets rid of that goals and that's dinners now i the reason my reasoning for only writing down my dinners because i have to cook for everyone um the girls always have their own thing. I mean, I say everyone like James and I. <laughs> and I basically, in terms of like breakfast and lunch, because it's just me, because James is at work, because it's just me, I don't have to really think too much about it. Um, you know, it's just whatever I fancy. But when it comes to, you know, cooking for your family or your other half or whatever, it's like, whatever sorry um you know what i mean it's 
I feel like it has to be a little bit more plain because me, I quite happily like eat pasta every night or I'd quite happily eat, you know, the same dinner three days on the trot because it would just make it easier in my head for me. But it's nice obviously you have that bit of variation and yeah, it's not even when you're doing food shopping, blah, 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 you know the gist. So that's dinners and that's for me saying 100% on plan. Now we have got these boxes here and I'm just trying to think what day let me just have a look back here what day where I haven't really got anything um, so I've got Thursday must be a good day for that one because I'm going to have workouts and stuff so another thing I want to do, as I was really slacking in working out last week, is doing a little seven minute workout every day. And I don't quite know how, because I haven't got enough boxes for doing that. Um, so I have got flags with my hair. Sorry about that. Um, have got these. Have I got enough of these though? That is the question. But one, two, three, four, five. I very much doubt I'll do a workout, a seven minute workout on Saturday. So yeah, okay, let's do one, two, three, Ooh. Stickers flying off off the page. Four, five. Okay. So I have got my water intake. I want to do. Um, so I'm thinking of just laying down a box and then. We can just work it out as we go. Um, so I'm actually only going to be doing like my running workout. I always do my running workout every other day. And then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, okay, let's have a little. So I've got my running workout every other day. So if I put that there, and then this one above here, and then I need to do my water. Once I've kind of like worked out what I'm actually <laughs> doing, um, it kind of just all falls into place, you know? It's just sort of that initial working out what I'm doing and then we kind of go from there. Um, I've actually left, or a little idea, and I've actually left my other sticker book up in my drawer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that quickly and I shall be back. Okay, I'm back and from the Paper K minimal collection. I have these little water bottles. So what I'm thinking is because I did have more of these sort of scallop dots or scallop circles, I should say. Where's my flags? Um, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, trust me to not have like one that's <laughs> okay we'll have to just do a bit of mixing and matching we'll say mix you know what I mean um, okay so for my water intake I am going to do a little Layering, if I could find my bows, where do my bows go? 
like right in front of me. I'm such a numpty. Right, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these bow headers and I'm gonna chop it down so that I have three. I'm then gonna take, put this here, where's me? Um, lay this here this above and then cute little water bottle there oh how cute is that and then um, this one's gonna be for my seven minute workout and this one's gonna be for my running one so I'm gonna use these your world of color a unicorn um, on a treadmill or running machine to mark that and then how many of them bigger workout stickers did I have that I wanted uh, one two three four five um, I'm doing four of them and then five. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, so then I'm gonna use these workout time stickers from Plans Just For You in the Planning Peeps script. And then I'm gonna use a pink trainer from Blossom Nose Co to mark down the seven minute workout that I do, or oh, sorry, say I do. I did actually do it during um, lockdown and that's a bit big, hold on a sec, bear with me guys. Yeah, so I found this um, seven minute workout on YouTube like during lockdown and the fact is, is that it's seven minutes and you just have to do um, seven minutes every day. And that's a bit big, isn't it? Um, and yeah, and it's sort of kind of, it's kind of like an all over body workout. So I really want to get back into that just because I've been really bad this week with my working out. I've only done two workouts this week. And yes, I really want to just motivate myself um, into doing that. So if I do end up missing the running workout, I've just, I've already done a little workout in the day. Um, because the only time I get to do my running is of an evening. And as you can imagine at this time, it's cold. Our running machine is out in the barn and it's just super, super cold. Like today it's raining and snowing. So, you know, luckily I haven't got to do a workout today. <laughs> but you can see my dilemma. <laughs> so, yes. Right, okay, I really like the look of that. So let's carry on and do this. So if you are doing a diet plan, what one are you doing? I'd love to know. I don't, I know there's loads of different ones out there. Um, and I'm not doing a workout that day. I know there's loads of different ones out there. So yeah, I'd really love to know um, what one, like what diet plan you're on. Is it calorie counting? Is it, um, uh, what's, is it like the one-to-one -one diet? Is it Slimming World, Weight Watchers? Um, I've done a fair few diets so. <laughs> over my time um, and in all fairness they, they all they all have their their you know good points I have always lost weight um, and the only time I ever really have gained massive amounts of weight is if I've um, is when I've had children after pregnancy so yeah you know I can't can't complain too much, but I'm still I'm still nowhere near 
um, where I was before children. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was. Um, I really do. It's really annoying that that... Sh I really like that shoe, that trainer stick up. It's just way too big. Um, what do I do, guys? Oh, you can't really help me. <laughs> I've got to work it out myself. How about putting it there? And then this here. Oh, there we go. That's kind of cute. And then we're doing with water. Yeah, so... Yeah, I just, I just like to kind of know you got any sort of tips, any tricks that you'd like to share. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, there is no easy way to lose weight uh, trust me i you know say I'll, i always work when i'm doing a diet i do always am um, like fully 100 percent right let's go on to wednesday and wednesday is going to be very similar situation to Monday. You know what? I'm kind of thinking of changing this a little bit around. See, I, this is why I love Isabel the Owl um, stickers. They just move so, so easily. There we go. Oh, that's, I really, you know what? This little situation here I just absolutely love. Um, yes, so, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I had Harriet come in and <laughs> I've lost my train of thought now. So how are you all anyway during this lockdown? Um, not doing too bad. I kind of feel like having the sort of, having sort of planning and like my, the, you know, health side to focus on kind of distracts me from what's actually happening out there <laughs> um so yeah i'm kind of like pleased about that if i'm being honest and uh, uh no i've already done that what have i got to do oh yeah <laughs> well to say this is this is why i I always like doing a voiceover so I can just concentrate on what I'm doing. I do struggle to do two things at once, which is, you know, strange for a woman. Should be as, you know, multitask. I can multitask a lot of things a lot better than my husband, so. Oh, how cute is that looking? I love it. Right, on to Thursday. So, yes, we do have a cheat meal on um, a Saturday night. Whenever I have done diets, I have always... Um, had a cheat meal and um, I just it, for me it really it, it does kind of makes me look forward to something um, some people don't always agree with it um, they really you know some people don't and that's absolutely um, fine but you know, we always we all have to do what we want for ourselves, isn't it? You know, and um, you know, having a little cheat meal for me is what keeps me on track the rest of the week. So I just sort of think, just got to do this week, and then I get my nice takeaway. Um, what's your go-to takeaway, guys? Let me know in the comments. See, I differ every week on what I kind of fancy. Um, I do love a burger. Um, we've got this really nice burger bar um, near us, and um, their burgers, oh, they're just so nice. They're just so nice, guys. They are, that, and they're massive. They're like humongous. And I'm, I'm not, um, I was, if I have a burger, I always have beef, like beef burger, just cheese, like cheeseburger basically. But 
but these burgers that this um, burger place does and their chicken burger, oh my God. I think it's the only chicken burger I will eat, if I'm being honest. I will not eat any other chicken burger. It's so good. They're just, they're just so big though. They're humongous, but I do feel highly satisfied <laughs> once I've had a burger. Um, have I done this the wrong way? This little situation here, I think I have. Hold on a sec. I wasn't thinking of what I was doing. I do also like a Turkish, I love a Turkish. Oh, that rice combination, oh yeah. Do love a Turkish as well. Um, no, I think this situation I might just do here. Or should I do that for all the situations? Oh, that's actually quite cute. I wanna, oh, am I gonna be able to peel this off now? Um, yeah, do love a Turkish. Went for a very long time of, of loving a Nando's, but then we kind of had it a bit too much. And um, you know when you kind of like have too much of something and then you actually get sick of it? That was, <laughs> that's what Nando's did to us. We had way too many Nando's in our lives. And um, yeah, grew sick of it, but we did have it not that long ago actually. It was really, really nice. But we did start keep having like, um, like bad, oh no, um, like they kept getting our order wrong and and everything and yeah when you sort of like each week we're not just talking like once you know we're like every week they'd miss something and oh like continually like calling up saying like you you know you've missed this off and especially when you've paid extra for stuff as well i mean you know like i'm paying like 60p for my chili jam i want my chili jam mate you know what i mean Oh, I sound a bit common then, didn't I? Sorry about that. Right. <laughs> That's how precious I feel about a chili jam. Do you like chili? If you like Nando's, do you like the chili jam from Nando's? Mm. It's kind of what makes my meal, if I'm being honest, is the chili jam. And I always, always, and the thing is actually, Nando's actually very good to have when you're on a diet, because it's actually not that bad for you. I mean, by the chili jam. Um, it's actually not that bad for you. Um, I always have the uh, the rice. I have the boneless thighs. Um, the coleslaw, which obviously isn't that great for you, obviously. <laughs> but you know, in retrospect, to other takeaways, it's actually not bad. And Turkish actually isn't that bad for you either. But obviously, maybe all the oil that they cook it in. I'm not even too sure if they even cook it that much on oil, do they? In oil, I think it's just all on a griddle, isn't it? I'm not 100% to be honest, but yes, so let's do this. But our, um, the point I was making, sorry, the burger place, so I went real off a tangent there, didn't I, with the burger place, was that um, I, sorry, was that the burger place has decided to, um, close for the time being uh, don't really know why because they do take away and everything i think they were getting quite overwhelmed with orders and which you know they were they were being like two hour deliver like two hour wait um for your meal i mean that is how good they are um and yeah, I think they're mostly feeling a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. So they've decided to shut. So James and I are now like, what do we get? <gasps> and it's the world's worst, because this week, James and I was like, oh, I really fancied a burger this week as well. I was just like, I know, it's like the most irritating thing going, isn't it? When you like, really fancy something. 
and uh, and they're like, no, shut. <laughs> you know that? Oh no. Right. Okay. So on to Saturday. Now I still keep up with my. Um, we'll try to keep up with my water on Saturday. Um, but we do have some other little things. So I'm gonna put a cheat meal in here. Um, what do I want to do to mark? that is my food one around here somewhere stickers stickers everywhere guys actually it's not too terrible it could be a lot worse okay i'm going to use um this little paper k burger takeaway set to mark cheat day I'm gonna go ahead and mark my water down I need to, I've lost my scissors underneath everything and this is so Saturday is my way day and my uh, like the day I take my measurements as well so I need to mark that down in the back here again I will be doing a flip through of this I have these like little uh, measurement um, stickers and yeah just sort of done a little set up in the back there just to mark right down all, you know my measurements and keep track of my weight okay and then I've got these two little flags so I can they're quite big though I did one here, it's just a mark. Away day and measurement. So we just do way day and then oh, I haven't got any measurement stickers. I might have to just create myself a measurement sticker um, for there because as I'm not done bar here, which I don't think I've got a cheat day. So that could be something I need to make myself up. So yeah, I'll be getting doing a measurement sticker and putting that there. So that is Saturday and then Sunday last day and we shall put this here put a box here to do an exercise Oh, and I forgot to say that if um, you want to check out your world of colour, I do have a PR code that you can use and it'll be in the description box below for you. Definitely go and check Carly Ann's shop out. She has an amazing range of stickers. And lastly, and I've lost it all. <laughs> Get to this MB and I've like lose it all. I don't really want to cover up the bow, but I feel like I haven't really got much choice. So let's just do my last water intake. Cut this little bow header down. And that's it, guys. That is the setup of my health 
planner spread this week. I absolutely love how this turned out and I'm so, so pleased that I come on camera to share this with you all. I would have been absolutely gutted if I'd done this off camera and not have shared this with you. Um, the only thing I have missed out just looking back at these and let's see if we can... up a sec. Might have to move these up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I think that looks really, really pretty. I love it. I'm so looking forward to next week now. Really going to try and have a good week health-wise, working out. Um, so my food isn't too bad it's just the working out and keeping on top of my water is my biggest thing that I need to do so yeah that is it so I really hope that you enjoyed this video today if you did please give it a little thumbs up it would mean the absolute world to me if you do um, don't forget to comment down below for any questions that I ask throughout the video uh, we'd love to have a chat with you guys and uh, yeah, so thank you ever so much for playing with me today. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.